actually to go back a little bit further, I started pretty much just playing video games all the time. Um, growing up uh, and as a, as a going to school, uh, I wasn't very good at being a student. I, I kind of screwed up um, during my academic career and just wasn't very interested in it at all. Um, and the only thing I really was interested in was playing and hopefully someday making video games. Um, so I finished high school and really college wasn't much of an option for me. I didn't have uh, the kind of grades that could get me into a good school and uh, focused on video games and got really lucky with that. I ended up writing for Video Game Magazine and then getting a job at Activision in Los Angeles uh, when I was 19 and I moved out to LA and worked as a game designer for a couple of years uh, and for a while I was really, really happy because there I was, boom, doing exactly what I wanted to do. And then after a couple of years, I uh, reached a point in my job where I realized uh, the thing I thought I wanted to do for the rest of my life when I was 18 wasn't really what I wanted to do. Um, and I actually wasn't very good at it. I liked playing games, but wasn't really cut out for making them. I left right as we were starting a game called Destroy All Humans, uh, which, which sort of sums it up. Uh, and that's my own fault. Uh, we, we were working on a game that we were all really excited about, about little furry creatures that pop into balls and smack into each other. And uh, we were all having a great time making that game. And then lo and behold, discovered that nobody really wanted to play a game about little furry creatures that pop into balls and smack into each other. And so kind of out of frustration, I said, all right, well, how about we make a game about aliens who come to Earth and they kill everybody and blow up everything and we'll call it Destroy All Humans. And wrote that as like a one paragraph pitch. Uh, and that got sent to our bosses in LA and they said, great, perfect, that's exactly what we want. And they sent that out to the publishers and the publishers said, yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. And so that got green lit and started moving forward and I thought, oh, crap, I was just kidding, I don't really, I was kind of out of frustration giving you what I thought you might want. So I decided to take a trip and uh, bought a bunch of guidebooks for places that I knew a little bit about um, that I figured I could afford to go to for a while. Um, so that's the thing, if you, if you plan a trip to Europe, you're going to be cleaned out in a couple of weeks. It's expensive. If you go to Southeast Asia, the same amount of money will last you three or four months at least, um, depending on how you travel. Uh, and so I started going and just really quickly discovered that it was something I loved, really, really loved and was good at and had never known uh, that I was or would be.